Well, hello, and I am super excited to be talking to you from this picture perfect palette of pastels in this gorgeous home. And I think people are often scared about using pastels because it will all become a little bit too pale and insipid. But the couple who live here and their lovely daughter and three charming chihuahuas have created a home which is comfortable, light and airy, which evokes the feeling of the countryside you live in, as well as getting some modernity for the young and funky and healthy couple that they are. So I'm starting off in the hallway here and the hallway itself, you'll see the entrance floor really sets the scene for some crazy busyness, but there's nothing else to fight with it. The walls are a beautiful palette. There's some details of pin boards and keyboards, but you'll see that everything's effortlessly simple. And then that pop of detail on the floor. And that's the secret to getting looks of florals and pastels and a hint at tradition just right. And this does it really well. This entranceway really just sets the scene for the start of the house. And you'll see as I go around the house, there's a whole host of amazing interiors to take you through. Now you see coming from this hard trafficked area, where we put tile for the dog's muddy paws from the long walks, we go into a seating area and this is all open plan. And it is effortlessly, effortlessly elegant. Just somebody chapping at the window there. It must be some delivery of fresh eggs from a local farmer. That's the sort of atmosphere here. Beautiful, restrained elegance with soft grey linens, duck egg blues, and pops of pink and blue. But because the couple are young and funky and trendy. They're up to speed with all the new and must-have colours that pop into everyday magazines and styles. And their blend and mix of finishes is simply impeccable. A beautiful area to sit down and with the huge picture window there, letting all that light flood into the room. And onto the home and the centre part of the house, which is the kitchen and dining area. And they've started to introduce a slightly distressed farmhouse feel with this lovely hand paint effect and distressed effect here on the chairs, teamed up with lovely ticking stripes. And it's a lovely, again, restrained, elegant feel with pops of colour. There's lots of companies out there that do this really, really well. Kath Kidson, Laura Ashley, many, many companies have floral attributes that can actually make and pull your whole design together. But for funkiness, we've got a little bit of a, a, a funky phone on the wall there. Long distance, only 10 cents. And beautiful, very clever use of joinery up and around the two fridges in the funky strong colours, where they've used it as a wine store, and for little collections. And I've often said, if you love collecting things, keep them in one area. Keep everything together in a collection rather than clashing your clutter about the place. A clever use of mirror above the sink here actually makes it look as if it's another window reflecting back into the open plan kitchen and a pop of colour coming into the amazing burner stove. So simple effects, Victorian tiles, pops of colour here and there, and really the atmosphere is so relaxing and so calming that you just want to, I just want to sit down and bake something. It's that kind of atmosphere. 
It's just a lovely, lovely way of looking at what people have often poo-pooed, saying that pastels are over. They still have their place. And you could go even funkier. You could go for a rich royal and electric blue in here to really pop the colour in. And you'll see in some of the accessories we have a pop. A pop. And a pop. And that's how you do it. So moving from there, back out into another hallway area, we have a series of public rooms. And they've been clever with the use of wallpaper in areas where you're not seeing it all the time. So for instance, this wallpaper could be said to be very busy, but it's in the hallway and we're just passing through here. We're not spending too much time in here. We're just glimpsing through and you'll see that what you can do is just appreciate the paper, but you're not in the room all the time staring at that busy, busy wall. Similar principle of putting a feature wallpaper on the wall where your headboard is. Sorry, I burnt my hand last week. Um, you have all the detail behind you on your headboard. But this, you'll see, puts the meat on the bones. And here we have room one. A little snug room using pale yellows, cool greys, washed woods. And a lot of these were done by the lady of the house herself with pieces of furniture that she did paint effects on. And in this case, again, we do have the soft florals. This is a very pretty, elegant room. A lovely morning room for reading the Sunday papers. Or catching up on what's the latest on John and Mabley Design. Hashtag Mabley Home Haven. Find out what's happening in the world of design. But the clever use of tones and textures from the wooden floor to rugs, to the linens, and to the pops of colour, and the hint at some foliage on the wall and then taking the background colour of the foliage paper and creating just a feature paint wall. It's a stunning atmosphere and ambience. And looking at the garden outside, bringing all those natural colours in, it really is a beautiful, restful room. I mean, I could actually just spend the rest of my morning here, but there's too much to show you. There's even more. I'm back in to the hall. We have a clever use of space. And if you have a room that you really can't put wallpaper on because it's too small and you can't do too much with it, put some detail onto the floor. And this clever use of space coming off the wooden floor, they've used the same time as the entrance hall and created a fantastically apportioned little coat room, which is simply charming. It's like staying in a really gorgeous New England floral hotel. Just so restful and peaceful. Now storage is key. A big dresser in the hallway for keys, magazines, posts, all of those things. Don't ever discount that when the doorbell rings, you can nick into a different room and hide all the clutter that's everywhere. Now, if you're working from home like a lot of us are just now, and you've created a room which is grey because you think it has to be grey. It's a workspace. I don't want anything too distracting. It's utilitarian. I need to work when I'm at home. Well, it's a great idea, but you can be quite funky as well with accessories. The old telephone, a funky chair, a world globe. Just a different way of looking at even at storage, that lovely dresser instead of a boring set of shelves. But there are different ways of looking at desking areas as well. And these, from made.com, are just super. It's almost like a sort of credenza. You could have that in a hallway. But it takes the look of a utilitarian home office out of the equation. 
And when it's all becoming a bit too grey and boring, think of a strong colour because the seating area in here, if you're having a meeting, simply pops and this blue velvet sofa really creates a talking point. A lovely big upholstered footstool, bringing in the all-important in vogue just now, the caged brass or bronze or gold fittings. But what a lovely room to work in. So the little tip here is, if you're working from home, it's got to be a room that you want to go and spend time in, not just an area you think, oh God, that's my office, I have to go and work in there. Works super, super well. And then, the big room. Now I love the warmth, and even on a winter's cold day, this room feels it will be basking in spring and summer sunlight. And it's just so restful. A great use of creams, greys, duck egg blues and florals to really create a sumptuous drawing room. And if you're a little bit worried about floral wallpaper in your living area, what you can do is create little collections and groupings of artwork to pull that theme together. You can warm up any room with the use of velvets and pops of pink here and there. Just keep that theme going. And using the floral fabric that matches the wallpaper around a bay window adds to that absolutely elegant and fresh appeal. And if you are thinking about doing a feature wallpaper to try out, a good way of doing that is introducing it in a chimney breast. And this room, again, a Sunday morning, a cosy evening, a good book, or a favorite flick through your favorite YouTube channel, John O'Mavley Design, to check out how you can create the best that your home can ever be. Now, I'm going upstairs now, because if you think downstairs was charming, you should have a look at what I'm going to find when we go upstairs. And again, using the paper, it's the busiest in the house, into the hall area. And before I go into the main bedrooms on this level, when you're buying homes, and this was a big consideration for this couple, they realised that they had a space in the loft area that could easily become another workspace or another bedroom. And this simple spiral staircase leads up, and this is fab for guests coming to stay, leads you to a beautiful guest bedroom. Again, adhering to all the principles of what makes this house pretty in pastels with shocking blocks of colour works so well. And even into keeping that feeling of tradition a little bit of modernity, with a bit of bling on the floor. A really well proportioned ensuite. And this series of colours, again, doesn't overtake the room because they're in accessories. But what a beautiful area and room to spend a weekend or some time as the guest of this family. Now I'm going back down the stairs again. And into 
a series of bedrooms that really have their own identity, but also keep within the same theme. So we'll go into another guest bedroom and this is a great use of space. And again, because this is a guest bedroom, you can be a little bit braver, not in here all the time. So in this case, we've lined out all the walls in the super floral and the paradise birds with simple effects, pleated shades, a coordinated cushion, but the pops of colour on the cushion bring the little birds out from the wall. And in this case, a really nice textured rug to bring that added pop of colour in so it keeps the same principle going. We have their daughter's room. And I think it's important. It's so easy for us all to decide, well, do you know, I know what my little girl wants. I want, she wants to be a little princess or she wants this or that and the next thing. It's equally very, very important to talk to your kid and ask them what they want. And within reason, because remember, they're going to be changing their mind from theme to theme. But in this case, this little girl has been quite definitive in her look. She didn't want the same as what mummy had, which was all the florals and pretty pinks and flowers and fairies. She's gone for a very bold very mature design with pinks and silver greys and keeping her personality at bay but it's still very sophisticated and fun. Great big furry bean bag, little hint to beautiful images and Ella's room really could be a really lovely guest bedroom but it does feel like a lovely little girl's room where she's managed to stamp her personality into the room. And that's important because if they love the room, they'll spend time in it and they'll keep it tidy, hopefully. So looking into the main bathroom on this floor, and this again is a great use of space. And we're bringing in that feeling of tradition which is relevant in the house. But the little pops of floral, the little bit of Edwardian or Venetian grandeur with the roll top bath, the fantastic cistern system, the old fashioned flusher, just really works well. And now to the master bedroom. Now, in a house like this, we have to remember that there's a man who lives here too. And it can't be too floral all of the time. So this room is a good example of how it's kept the femininity and the floralness of the rest of the house, but has a masculine element as well. And that's been achieved by using block silver a cooler palette of more greys and silver, but it's been given a bit of masculinity with these two wing-back chairs in a distressed leather effect, which just gives it a little bit of masculinity and more of a hotel feel. You've still got all the great tricks of the lovely headboard, feature bed, karate chop cushions, love to see it, well done. And leading through into the ensuite. Which has a similar theme to the main bathroom, which works really, really well. An effortless, effortless collection of simply Stunning, floral, pastel perfect rooms. And what I would say is, if you don't want to try everything that's here, take elements, take a guest bedroom, a 
cloakroom, your pantry, a utility room, and give it the feeling of floral elegance because it has breathed life into this beautiful, beautiful house with a simple palette of colours, with the introduction and pop of energy to create what I can only say is a stunning family home, which allows you to make sure that home is where your story begins. Don't forget, pastels can be perfect.